Hello guys, it's Workasm here from Radical Squad and today we have for you actually another great world record gameplay here today and actually it's a double DNA bomb with the Cell 3. So yeah guys, this is the world's first double DNA bomb with the, this um, Cell 3 shotgun. I didn't find any of them on YouTube double DNA bombs with this weapon. Uh, of course there were normal DNA bombs with this. I'm not calling this the world's first DNA bomb with the Cell 3 but this is the world's first double DNA bomb with the Cell 3. If I'm if I'm wrong, please correct me. Uh, make sure to leave that in, in the comments if you found another video that's released before this because I got this gameplay I believe on Monday. So um, oh I mean I'm, I'm sorry I'm, I got this gameplay on Sunday. So if you guys uh, find a gameplay that actually is a double DNA bomb with the Cell 3 before me, please tell me because then I'm going to correct this video saying that it's not the world's first double DNA bomb with the Cell 3, but that I didn't find it on YouTube. A double DNA bomb with this gun, so I called it the world's first double DNA bomb with the Cell 3. But yeah, guys, um, I was using the Cell 3 Phantom. Actually, in my opinion, this Cell 3 weapon isn't too good, but the Phantom adds one more damage and it takes away one handling, so I, I thought that's actually a pretty good version. It's the enlisted version, so if you guys get this weapon, I recommend using it um, more than the actually normal version of the Cell 3. And if you guys don't know, how to get the cell 3 you can get that in the advanced supply drops or normal supply drops and I got this from a normal supply drop so you don't have to buy supply drops to get these guns but of course it might be a bit easier than going for uh, them from normal supply drops uh, but yeah I actually have a topic here for today I'm just uh, I just of course you guys can see the map is here come back and the mode is uh, hardpoint also I was playing with a friend here but yeah Okay, so my topic here today is my uh, first being pulled over. So my first time getting pulled over by a cop. So uh, this happened when I was 15 years old and around actually, I think it's like, yeah, it's three years ago, almost like, I'd say three three years and one month ago, uh, I got pulled over. Uh, well, how could I explain it? I was, um, I drove this uh, thing called the Mopo, the Mauto, whatever you guys want to call it. It's a uh, it's a thing that a lot of people in Finnish uh, Finland, you know, have. There, you know, especially I live in an area that actually uh, having a mopo uh, auto, moped car, we call it. It's that. It's that. It's that in English. Uh, uh, you know, it really it really helps help me. I'm not. I'm 18 now, so I don't have that anymore. But it really helped me uh, get through my practice and stuff. So I had this. Yeah, I had this thing called the moped car. I was actually. I really liked it and it was kind of fun, but basically it only went 50 kilometers per hour, which sucked ass, but of course it was okay for a 15 year old. But you know, it only has two spots, like you know, like a motorcycle, it has two spots, it only goes 50 kilometers per hour, so uh, one time me and two of my friends wanted to go to the cen center, city center of Turku, yeah I know, Turku the Perse Reika, uh, <laughs> but you know, uh, yeah, we want to go to the center and we would have thought like, whatever, it's 8 o'clock, it's 8 p.m., cops won't see us, so actually, uh, we did it, we we did something pretty bad, I got like, I got 60, I was fined 60 euros for this, so basically what is the most illegal and what I, I believe the cops hate most, I took someone, because it only has, remember, the moped car only has two spots, I took one guy in the, you know, in the trunk, drove to the city and actually it was kind of funny we were like you know driving and then suddenly we stop at the red lights and when the cop drives right next to us and then just looks and then you can see from our you know because the the moped car doesn't weigh a lot you can see that there, it's if it's a little bit down you probably think either there's a really really fucking heavy bag or then there's a guy in the back trunk and we looked like we were so panicking so the guy they just pulled us over and then you know we were just like then he just told us to open the trunk and we were like so fucked up uh, it was actually it was in ninth grade my actually that was probably my third week driving the moped car thankfully his dad uh, actually paid the uh, fine or the ticket which was awesome because I, I couldn't have brought that home because my parents would have probably killed me uh, but yeah so yeah we got fined sixty dollars and yeah my first ticket after three weeks of driving with the moped car not 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 too not too good but yeah that was my first time getting pulled over uh, also I, I remember the story that the cops told us they he, they were so pissed off when they, they got they caught us he was like they were just saying how they should forbid the fucking moped cars and then they were just, they were talking all trash that they're gonna take us to jail or something for this and then blah 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 Nothing really happened. We got 60 euros and uh, 60 euros 
a ticket and that was pretty much done but still it was pretty frightening you know I was never in contact with the cop before and after that let's say I haven't had the best times with the cops uh, yeah but whatever that was my first time getting pulled over uh, yeah that was actually so I highly recommend guys if you have a moped car whatever a motorcycle whatever don't take three people in it because okay of course it's much easier to get caught if you have a mo mo moped or whatever you have it's so much easier to get caught than a moped or mauto or whatever moped car but still I highly recommend not doing it because that 60 euros didn't feel good but yeah guys the gameplay is about to end here I hope you really, really enjoyed this commentary and uh, and gameplay. I know I haven't made a to uh, actual topic for a while, so it was pretty hard to just tell about it, especially in English, because I haven't made a topic in English in a while. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. Also, if you really, really enjoyed this uh, uh, gameplay, be sure to subscribe to our channel because we are going to offer you guys gameplay like this, especially when Black Ops 3 starts. We're going to grind the best gameplay out there. Also, leave a like if you really enjoyed this com gameplay and commentary. Also, uh, if you have any ideas, if you have anything you want to tell us in the comment section below, please do that. It really helps me know what you guys want and want to see. Uh, but yeah, guys, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, comment, and I will, I will see you guys in the next video or commentary or whatever. I'll see you guys later. Peace.